Hi you guys, welcome back to the kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can make the most delicious sourdough chocolate chip cookies. We have been in our kitchen testing and testing and testing, trying to get the ratios right so that you can use your sourdough starter discard to make these cookies with. These are thick, chewy, bakery style cookies. And let me tell you, they are so good. So if you wanna learn how to make these, go ahead and stay tuned and let's get started. The key to making these cookies nice and thick and chewy is to not over mix your batter. So to start, we're gonna take the egg, sourdough starter, and vanilla and beat that together in a bowl and set it aside. Then you're going to measure out your bread flour, your all-purpose flour, the baking soda and baking powder, and salt. And use a whisk or a fork to combine these ingredients and then set that aside. Take the cold butter and chop it into cubes and use the paddle attachment on your stand mixer. To get that started, we're gonna be mixing everything on a low speed. And once you kind of have that butter a little bit broken up, we're going to add the light brown sugar and the granulated sugar to the butter. And don't forget, we are not trying to make a light, creamy, fluffy butter mixture like you do in other cookie recipes. Everything's going to stay as under mixed as possible. So go ahead and put your stand mixer on a low speed and take a look at this sugar. See how it's still kind of clumpy with the butter a little bit? This is kind of the texture that you're looking for. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our chocolate chips to the mixture right now. And I know this is usually the last thing you add, but we're gonna add it right now and we're gonna let the ingredients mix together and these chocolate chips are gonna help get the butter and sugar mixed more evenly as well. So this is what you're looking for, just kind of a, almost a crumbly mixture. Now we're adding the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix this on low speed again. And it doesn't take long. We are looking to get these ingredients mixed together without overworking a wet dough. And that's going to help to get, um, reduce the cakiness. We want thick, chewy, dense cookies. So take a look at this. See how it's, you can still see some of the butter, but I'm taking a spatula and I'm just kind of breaking those pieces up and mixing it just a little bit more to get all those butter pieces and everything incorporated together. Now it's time to put in our egg sourdough starter and that vanilla mixture that we beat earlier. So we're going to pour that in. And again, we're gonna mix this until the ingredients just come together and it doesn't take long, probably about 30 seconds is all it takes. See the dough, how it just kind of comes together. Check to make sure all the wet ingredients have been mixed in. And there was still a little bit on the bottom, so, you know, I'm processing this for about 10 seconds, I believe. And that's it. You can see that dough's pulling away from the sides of the bowl. So this is what you're looking for, okay? Now we've got this dough mixed and you know, we haven't overworked the dough. And here you can see the texture. 
My, I recommend using a cookie scoop to portion out your dough into balls, and I'm using two scoops per cookie. This dough is going to make about a dozen cookies, maybe a couple or more of this size. If you don't want this big of a cookie, you can just use one scoop, but I recommend you you know, going ahead and making these big. They, they're really good. So after you've portioned out the dough, it's gonna be a little bit sticky. So I like to shape it into a ball, like kind of roll it in, in, into a ball with my hands. And we're gonna take this dough and put it in the fridge, right on this baking sheet. You don't have to cover it, you can if you want to. But you're gonna put it in the fridge and you're gonna let it chill overnight. I would say a minimum of two hours now the dough, I'm putting it onto parchment paper lined baking sheet to go ahead and bake. The oven is preheated, preheated at 375 Fahrenheit. And I like to roll these firm dough balls into really nice round balls because I like a nice pretty round cookie after they've baked. So by doing this, you're going to make sure that your cookies are you know, uniform and even, but this is totally unnecessary. You don't have to do this part if you do not care what your cookies look like. So another thing that I like to do is just sprinkle a little bit of this flaky sea salt on top. It really enhances the flavor of the cookies, but you do not have to do this step. It's just recommended if you have some. You can use regular salt, but don't use a whole lot. So after the uh, salt goes on the dough balls, these are gonna be baked in a 375 degree oven for around 15 minutes. And once they're finished, you want to remove them from the oven and leave them on the baking sheet for about five minutes and then transfer them to a cooling rack to go ahead and cool the rest away. You can eat them warm, you can eat them after they've cooled off, but either way, they are perfection. You are definitely going to really enjoy this recipe. It's super easy and it's so perfect for your sourdough discard. Look at the chocolate in these things. I mean, you guys, these are so thick and chewy and delicious. So that's it. That is how easy it is to make these cookies. If you um, can, make a double batch because once you portion out the dough into the dough balls, you can actually freeze them. So they will stay good in the freezer in a freezer safe container for a couple of months. The uncooked dough will also stay good in the fridge for up to a week. So go ahead and make an extra batch and that way you can just grab some out of the freezer when you have a sweet tooth and you know just pop them right into the oven from the freezer you'll have to cook them a few more minutes than if they were just coming out of the fridge but that's it these are so delicious and i know that your friends and family are going to absolutely love them they are thick chewy and just perfect. You are going to love them. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more sourdough recipes. So until next time, bye. Mm. So good.